The Spreadsheet Web Wizard will walk you through the spreadsheet conversion process and aid you in turning your spreadsheet into a dynamic web application. You begin by finding the Spreadsheet Web tab in the Excel tab bar at the top of Microsoft Excel. From here, you press the Wizard button to open up the Spreadsheet Web Wizard. Press Next to begin the process. This is the Applications and Worksheets page of the Wizard. From here, you can choose your application's name as well as add worksheets to your application. We'll start by changing the name. This is also where you add worksheets to your application. If you have multiple worksheets in a single application, then the Spreadsheet Web Wizard will automatically create a tab bar at the top of the application which will allow the end user to move back and forth between worksheets. If you'd like to remove this tab bar, make sure to check the Hide Worksheet Tab Bar option on this page. Otherwise, leave it unchecked. Press Add to add your first worksheet. You will be brought to the Display and Convert page. From here, you can begin by defining the display area, which is the section of the Excel spreadsheet that you would like to be viewable by the end user in the finalized web application. Simply click the Selection tool and make your selection in Excel. When you are done, press OK. This page is also home to the Convert and Display options, where you can select from several features of Excel spreadsheets and determine whether these aspects of the spreadsheet will carry over into the web application. By default, all available features are selected to be maintained and converted, including supported pivot tables, charts, form controls, images, alignment, font, borders, background colors, and comments. If you would like any of these to not remain preserved, simply uncheck its checkbox. From here, you can also disable a worksheet conditional to an if statement. Simply direct this option towards the if statement in the Excel workbook, and if the statement returns true, then the worksheet will be hidden. This can be done by selecting the Disable Worksheet option and directing it to a cell.